in this question, they tell us that AD is the same as DC. So AD is the same as DC. Okay, so there they've showed us with those lines over there. Just remember it's A. Okay, yeah, it's just up to AD. It's not all the way up to B. Um, and then they tell us that those two lines are parallel. We can see that. And then they tell us that D2 is 20. So D2 is 20. So they haven't filled that in. Okay, and then B1 plus B2 is 68. So this angle here is 68. B1 plus B2, 68. Okay, first question, determine with reasons. Okay, determine the angle C1. So here's C1. Now, can you see that there's the parallel lines? So over here, so there we've got alternating angles. So we could say that C1 is equal to um, 20 degrees because of alt angles and that is because the line DE is parallel to BC. So we now know that that's 20. Okay, the next one, D3, angle D3, where are you? D3 is over here. So if you look over here, and I'd always advise you pause the video and try these yourself. It's really the best and fastest way to learn. You can see in that triangle, we know this whole angle and we know this whole angle. So that means we can work out this angle because we know that the angles of a triangle add up to 180. So we could say that D3 is gonna be equal to 180 minus 68 minus 20. And that is because of sum of angles in triangle. So we have, oh, then we should go work that out, of course. So D3 is then going to be 180 minus 68 minus 20, and that's going to be 92 degrees, 92 degrees. All right, so we have that then as 92, and let's take get rid of that. Okay, so, let's just say here 92. Okay, so now we want us to, they want us to find angle ADC. So angle ADC, so ADC. So that is, um, if you go there to there to there, so it's this whole angle over here, okay? So that's gonna be fairly straightforward because we can see here that this is a straight line. So that means that um, this whole angle here must be 180. That must be 180. So we could say that D1 plus D2 plus D3 must be 180. And that's just because of the angles on a straight line. So we'll just go angles on straight line. And so D1, we don't know. D2 is 20. D3 is 92. And so to work out D1, you would say 180 minus 20 minus 92. It's just like solving an equation. And if we work out D1, we would get sixty-eight degrees. Okay, so we now have that as sixty-eight. So we haven't answered their question. They want the angle ADC. So ADC. So it's that whole part there. So we could then say, therefore, angle ADC is then going to be sixty-eight plus twenty, which is eighty-eight degrees. There are other ways you could have done this question. You could have also realized that with this triangle over here, this angle that they're looking for is the exterior angle of that triangle. And we know that an exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two, um, the two opposite interiors, which would be the 68 and the 20. And if you add those together, that also gives you 88. So there's multiple ways you could have done that one. The last question says, calculate the angle C3. So where are you, C3? C3 is over here. Okay, and it's for three marks. So remember earlier they told us that these two lengths are the same, which is this one and that one. When two lengths of a triangle, so it would be this triangle over there, when two lengths are the same, two angles are the same. So for example, if you have something like this, and if you know that this is 50, and they tell you that those two sides are the same, then that means that this angle 
and this angle would have to be the same. And then it's easy to find these two angles because we know that all three of those must add up to 180. So you could then say 180 minus 50, which is 130. So these two together must add up to 130. So you could then divide them both by two and you would get 65 for each one. So that's what we have in this question as well. Can you see that we already have this angle up here, this 88, we already have that. So that means we can now go work out because these two sides are the same. So that means that these two angles must be the same. Okay, so we can start off by saying in question 5.1.4, we could say that angle A is exactly the same as angle C2. That is because they are the angles opposite, equal, not equid, equal sides. So to work out um, A or C2, you would do exactly what we did over here. So you'd say 180 minus 88, because these two together make up 88. And then that would give us um, 92. And then you would just say 92 divide by two, and that would be 46. So that means this one is 46, and this one is 46. Now, if you look at this C3, we can see that we have a straight line over here. So that means that these three angles there must add up to 180. So we could say that angle C1 plus C2 plus C3 must add up to 180. Okay, let's make it a bit better. And that is just once again because of um, angles on a straight line. And so C1 is 20, C2 is 46, C3 is the unknown. And so to get C3 by itself, you would say minus and minus. And so C3 would be 114 degrees.